Chapter 3 And Jehoram son of Ahab hath reigned over Israel in Samaria in the eighteenth year of Jehoshaphat king of Judah, and he reigneth twelve years, and doth the evil thing in the eyes of Jehovah, only not like his father and like his mother, and he turneth aside the standing pillar of Baal that his father made. Only to the sins of Jeroboam son of Nebat that he caused Israel to sin he hath cleaved, he hath not turned aside from it. And Mesha king of Moab was a sheep master, and he rendered to the king of Israel a hundred thousand lambs and a hundred thousand rams with wool. And it cometh to pass at the death of Ahab that the king of Moab transgresseth against the king of Israel. And king Jehoram goeth out in that day from Samaria, and inspecteth all Israel, and goeth and sendeth unto Jehoshaphat king of Judah, saying, The king of Moab hath transgressed against me. Dost thou go up with me unto Moab for battle? And he saith, I go up, as I, so thou, as my people, so thy people, as my horses, so thy horses. And he saith, Where is this, the way we go up? And he saith, The way of the wilderness of Adam. And the king of Israel goeth, and the king of Judah, and the king of Edom. And they turn round the way seven days, and there hath been no water for the camp, and for the cattle that are at their feet. And the king of Israel saith, Alas, for Jehovah hath called for these three kings, to give them into the hand of Moab. And Jehoshaphat saith, Is there not here a prophet of Jehovah, and we seek Jehovah by him? And one of the servants of the king of Israel answereth and saith, uh, here is Elisha, son of Shaphat, who poured water on the hands of Elijah. And Jehoshaphat saith, The word of Jehovah is with him. And go down unto him do the king of Israel, and Jehoshaphat, and the king of Adam. And Elisha saith unto the king of Israel, What, to me and to thee? Go unto the prophets of thy father, and unto the prophets of thy mother. And the king of Israel saith to him, Nay, for Jehovah hath called for these three kings to give them into the hand of Moab. And Elisha saith, Jehovah of hosts liveth before whom I have stood, for unless the face of Jehoshaphat king of Judah I am lifting up, I do not look unto thee nor see thee. And now bring to me a minstrel, and it hath been at the playing of the minstrel that the hand of Jehovah is on him. And he saith, Thus said Jehovah, Make this valley ditches, ditches for thus said jehovah ye do not see wind nor do ye see rain and that valley is full of water and ye have drunk ye and your cattle and your beasts and this hath been light in the eyes of jehovah and he hath given moab into your hand and ye have smitten every fenced city and every choice city and every good tree ye cause to fall and all fountains of waters ye stop and every good portion ye mar with stones and it cometh to pass in the morning, at the ascending of the morning present, that, lo, waters are coming in from the way of Edom, and the land is filled with the waters. And all Moab have heard that the kings have come up to fight against them, and they are called together, from every one girding on a girdle and upward, and they stand by the border, and they rise early in the morning, and the sun hath shone on the waters, and the Moabites see from over against the waters red as blood and say blood this is the kings have been surely destroyed and they smite each his neighbor and now for spoil moab and they come in unto the camp of israel and the israelites rise and smite the moabites and they flee from their face and they enter into moab so as to smite moab and the cities they break down and on every good portion they cast each his stone and have filled it and every fountain of water they stop and every good tree they caused to fall, till one had left its stones in Kir Hareseth, and the slingers go round and smite it. And the king of Moab seeth that the battle has been too strong for him, and he taketh with him seven hundred men, drawing sword, to cleave through unto the king of Edom, and they have not been able. And he taketh his son, the firstborn who reigneth in his stead, and causeth him to ascend a burnt offering on the wall, and there is great wrath against Israel, and they journey from off him, and turn back to the land.